Well, I just went to Maui, but before that, of course, we're on tour, so. Yeah. That's crazy. It's like, you know, you you uh, you fly from, from L.A. to to England, you do a show. Steven Tyler is an American rock musician. He's most famous for being a founding member and lead singer for the band Aerosmith, which is one of the most successful bands of all time. He's famous for his high screams and wide vocal range. Moreover, he's also known for his onstage acrobatics. Tyler's included among Rolling Stone's 100 Greatest Singers. He was ranked third on Hit Parader's Top 100 Metal Vocalists of All Time. In 2001, he was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame with Aerosmith. And in 2013, Tyler and his songwriting partner, Joe Perry, received the ASCAP Founders Award and were inducted into the Songwriters Hall of Fame. I watched in the video, and the one thing that took me the most was coming up with the, the mother looking down the hallway at the father walking in the, his daughter's room. If you enjoy these videos, please remember to hit the like button as it does help us out a lot. And comment below who your favorite celebrity is that you'd love to see in an upcoming video. His full name is Steven Victor Taliarico, but he's also known as Steven Tyler and the Demon of Screaming. He was born March 26, 1948 in Manhattan, New York, United States, making him 74 at the time of this production. He stands 5 feet 9 inches tall, or 1.77 meters. Pink is his favorite color. Some of his favorite Rolling Stone songs include I'm a King Bee, Brown Sugar, Rip This Joint, Get Off My Cloud, and Something Happened to Me Yesterday. He loves to scuba dive in the Great Barrier Reef. Tyler's a fan of hang gliding. While indulging in one of his favorite activities, he enjoys picking and eating the leaves of the tops of trees. Health issues have plagued the singer for his entire life, not all of which were due to his extensive drug use for many years. In 2006, Tyler had throat surgery to fix a ruptured blood vessel in his throat following a performance in Florida. During his performances, Tyler usually dresses in colorful outfits with his trademark scarves hanging from his microphone stand. In 1981, he split open his heel when his motorcycle crashed into a tree. Tyler has met and hugged Michelle Obama. In December 2010, he performed for President Obama and the First Lady in an uncommon tribute to Sir Paul McCartney at the Kennedy Center Honors. The singer hates leeches, but loves koala bears. Tyler can hold his breath underwater for two minutes. In 2015, Tyler launched Janie's Fund to support, protect, and counsel female victims of abuse. He's raised over $2.4 million for the organization since it was established. Janie's House, a live-in shelter for victims of abuse, opened in Atlanta in 2017. In his 2011 memoir, Does the Noise in My Head Bother You?, Tyler wrote, I've been misquoted as saying that I'm more female than male. Let me set the record straight. It's more half and half and I love the fact that my feelings are akin to Puella Eternus, Latin for the eternal girl. What better to be like than the stronger of the species? Tyler is the cousin of Tommy Tallarico, co-creator of the concert series Video Games Live. Tyler dated fashion model B.B. Buell, during which his daughter Liv Tyler was conceived and born in 1977. Liv has also made a name for herself in show business as a successful actress, producer, and singer. Tyler has three grandchildren through Liv's marriage to Royston Langdon. Stephen was married to Sindria Fox from 1978 to 1987. Fox sadly died of brain cancer in 2002. Tyler married clothing designer Teresa Barrick in 1988. They had a daughter and a son and divorced in January 2006. Tyler became engaged to Aaron Brady in December 2011, but broke off their engagement in January 2013. In 1975, 27-year-old Tyler persuaded the parents of groupie Julia Holcomb, then 16, to sign over guardianship to him so that they could live together in Boston. The two dated for three years. Holcomb got pregnant and subsequently got an abortion due to a house fire they experienced. They were worried that the smoke from the fire, as well as the drug she was doing at the time, would lead to birth defects. To, um, to find out what codependency was all about and try to physically survived the music business. This was 92, 93.
He was born to Susan Ray, a secretary, and Victor Tallarico, a musician and a pianist. With a classical musician for a father, Tyler's interest in music began strong and early. He attended Roosevelt High School in Yonkers, but was expelled over drug use. Later, he graduated from Quintano School for Young Professionals. He met his future bandmates, Joe Perry, guitar, and Tom Hamilton, bass, at a local rock show in 1969. The trio decided to form a band. Two other musicians were recruited, and Aerosmith was formed in 1970. The band signed a record deal with Columbia Records in 1972 and released their self-titled album in 1973. It was quickly followed by their next album, Get Your Wings, in 1974. During this time, the band also toured and opened for other bands. The mid-1970s was a good time for Aerosmith. They became very famous with the release of albums like Toys in the Attic and Rocks. Tyler was fast becoming a youth icon and sex symbol with the success of the band. By 1976, Aerosmith was in demand at major rock music festivals where they played to pack stadiums. The album Draw the Line was out in 1977, however by the end of the 1970s the band began to fall apart. After being inactive for years, the band reunited for a comeback concert tour titled Back in the Saddle Tour in 1984. However, the band members were still into drugs. Realizing that they were jeopardizing their careers because of their drug addiction, the members decided to attend rehabilitation programs in 1986. By the end of the decade, they had completed their treatment. Their next album, Pump, was out in 1989. In 2016, Steven released his debut solo album, We're All Somebody From Somewhere, which debuted at number one on the U.S. Top Country Albums. I do, and we were really pissed off because it cost us seven, eight hundred thousand dollars. What happened? To fly the whole band and crew in to play at the Grammys, and we didn't get, we didn't get back. He has primarily accumulated his net worth from music. In 1973, Stephen earned 2.1 million dollars from the album called Aerosmith. The next year, he earned 3.1 million dollars from the album titled Get Your Wings. In 1975 and 1976, he earned $12.2 million from albums including Rocks and Toys. Aside from a lengthy and impressive musical career, Tyler has made several films and television appearances, most notably in Wayne's World 2, The Simpsons, Saturday Night Live, and Two and a Half Men. Tyler merged creative design efforts with inventor slash engineer Mark Dorico and launched Dorico Motorcycles in 2007. He was a judge on American Idol for two seasons. He has a net worth of $150 million. He has a house in Marshfield in Massachusetts. Steven Tyler's house on Maui is a dream property packed full of luxuries and with a location that's one step from paradise. Steven Tyler purchased his Kihai home in 2012 for an estimated $4.8 million. The house itself is in Makena, a national reserve just down the road from Malaya, a tourist resort. He bought his house in LA in 2011 for $1.325 million. Steven Tyler owns the following cars and bikes. A 2012 Hennessy Venom GT Spider, a 1990 Harley Davidson Fat Boy, a 1961 Lotus Super 7. A 1941 Ford 41 pickup. A 2013 Custom Dorico.
2013 Vauxhall Astra.